My name is Danais Leon Potolinka Disperlinga, and I am a Habano sommelier, master cigar sommelier, and by the association, the International Association of Cigar Sommeliers, and it's an uh, ambassador and certified instructor for Europe. Uh, welcome all, thank you once more for joining us today in this uh, unique virtual tasting and pairing. I want to talk about the uh, International Association of Cigar Sommeliers briefly. Hello? So, as I, as I, okay, thank you. As I was saying, the International Association of Cigar Sommeliers is an organization dedicated to train and educate uh, hospitality professionals uh, on to become cigar sommeliers and everything regarding service and parents. Uh, but also, uh, or not only, um, hospitality um, professionals, but aficionados or enthusiasts or smokers who may want to enhance their um, sensorial experience while smoking premium cigars. Our association has uh, already more than 500 graduates all over the world. So I would like to present, uh, introduce to you our co-host uh, from the association. We have Oscar Andres Marulanda, which is our expert in chocolate. And we have also um, Paul David Cebu, and they will introduce themselves briefly to you just to continue with the session. Please, Oscar. No. Yes, you have to unmute. Thank okay. You. Okay, do you, do you hear me? Yep, perfect. Okay, thank you so much for being today. Uh, my name is Oscar. I am sommelier from WSET3. Uh, I am in preparation to be a diploma. W and also, I am T Gourmand, uh, prepared to uh, teach sommelier. Obviously, and uh, all my training has uh, development different trainings about water sommelier and chocolate taster. I am in, Col in Cartagena, in Colombia. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you very much. So, um, Paul, what is Paul? I'm here. Okay. Good afternoon, <laughs> good evening, good morning to everyone. Um, it's an absolute honor to be uh, in the presence of, of greats here uh, and of all of you, uh, our smoking community. Um, I'm here to, to, to share a little bit about coffee and how, uh, how specialty coffee can integrate in your smoking experience. Um, I'm currently living in Medellin, Colombia. Uh, I've spent, I've been bouncing betw uh, between Colombia and Peru over the past 10 years. Um, I founded a, um, a trading company for fine tea, specialty cacao, but more, most specifically, uh, specialty coffee. Um, and we do just about everything in the coffee chain. Uh, we roast coffee, uh, we trade coffee to, um, to the Middle East, Asia, Oceania, Europe, North America. Uh, and we also farm coffee. Uh, we have farms in a cooperative uh, in Peru. So um, I'm looking forward to this experience to share a little bit about coffee. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much. So since this uh, session has been organized by La Aurora Cigar Factory and the International Association of Cigar Sommeliers, now we want to um, introduce to you Gustavo Velayos, who will make a presentation of the, the company. Please, Gustavo. Yeah. It's uh, sun, 7 o'clock p.m., enjoying the weather. And I would like to introduce the company very, very briefly. So Laurora is the oldest Dominican cigar factory. It was founded in 1903 by Eduardo Leon Asensio. Um, this year, uh, we are going to celebrate uh, 170 years of history. So Laurora was always connected with the history of Dominican Republic is a family company with uh, in Dominican. You're always with the Dominican flag in, uh, with our brands. So we feel Dominican. We're in uh, 88 countries right now. Um, 
it is the only the oldest Dominican cigar factory, but also the, the only Dominican company with real Dominican roots. So I feel really honored uh, to be invited to this uh, virtual event. Uh, thank you very much. One and only Manuel Inoa, the master blender of La Aurora. We are very eager to hear you. Please, Manuel. That means. Yes. Hello, you hear me? You got it? You hear me? Yes, we do. Very good. Very good. Hello, everyone. Uh, on behalf of the whole Aurora team, thank you to came to see this beautiful uh, and amazing event today. Uh, of course, because the, the virus, the pandemic, we have to be safe and home, but that doesn't mean that we can enjoy a very good things in, in the home, okay? Today, we will talk about, uh, okay, I'm Manuel Inoa from La Aurora, the Master Blender, sorry, and Master Blender, uh, I will guide you to one of the best cigars that we made uh, two years ago to celebrate our 115th anniversary. We bring, I hope you have a, in your hands to be together with me to get that flavor, that sensation that we can get on all the, all through the cigar that we smoke. Uh, the 115, because the years, the, the company now have a having 17, so in 115 we do to celebrate this uh, beautiful cigar. A beautiful wrapper from the Ecuador, Sumatra Sea, Ecuadorian, growing Ecuador. Also a beautiful binder, Sumatra Sea in Brazil. I love tobacco from Brazil. I love it because the, the, the uh, pepper, the spicy that they have, I love that. Also, we have uh, some touch inside of Nicaragua and the blend of Nicaragua. Also, we got more Brazilian tobacco inside and one of the best tobacco of the world from the Cibao Valley, two tobacco from Dominican Republic. Uh, I will not explain how to cut the cigar because this is not a master class to how to cut or to light it up. It's, we talk about today flavors, sensation. Remember, to the time, you only can perceive four flavors, five flavors. Well, because it's in the Oman. But at least stay in the cigar with uh, sweetness, uh, salty, it's better, and uh, sour. Let's do that. Through here to the nose, you can get more flavor than you can imagine. I can say 10,000 different flavors, but if you go to Google's, you have a million of different sensations that you can perceive. Flavors are and flavors and smell are something for the past, something that you got in the memory, that you have to associate with something that you uh, remember from the time. This is the beauty of you when you get one nice cigar. Remember, cigar is not for a smoke. Cigar is for enjoy. And the only way that you can enjoy it is bringing all those flavors that you can share with, with the people when you talk. So let's start to, to burn uh, to open it first, okay? Uh, all the time I try to do it in cool because when you do that, you have an idea that something's coming. Uh, remember, all the information is on the smoke, but uh, when you do the cool, can tell you how the tobacco was aged, how the, 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 the thing is coming. You can feel some earthy at the beginning, Thing like that, but but you need to light it up to bring all those flavors. So let's start with mine. Uh, it's, it's amazing that you will be with us today because uh, you can ask ask everything that you want to know. You can make questions. You can uh, 
you can enjoy it together with me or, or all through and you can share your your experience with the whole team for sure So, um, Manuel, while we, we, while we light the cigar, I would like to explain briefly the philosophy of the association in terms of parents. Is briefly. So we consider that each third, we divide the cigars in, into three thirds. And uh, we consider that it's possible to pair each third with a different product. So that's the, the basics, right? And the other thing is that we can have parents based on contrast, and similarities. So this, yeah, is just, yeah, yeah. this is just a brief explanation before you continue, just for the, all the, the friends who have joined uh, with us today for enjoying this, to know what's the philosophy of the International Association of Cigar Sommeliers in terms of pairing. Please. Okay. I just say that uh, uh, we need to, to uh, uh, separate in the mind and thirst because it, it, it cigar, a dynamic cigar, a good cigar, had to be changing all the time to keeping all the time uh, excited. So we be divided in the mind in the thirst, first thirst, second, and the end. At the very beginning, at the first thirst, you will find different things, but if they really get it. You need to throw it through the nose, retro hat, like this. Look at this. The combination with the mouth and the nose bring you some, something uh, unique, but you don't say know what it is. You like it, but you don't know. You need to be really concentrated to get it. Let's do it one more time because the first time we do it, the nose will be something irritation. That doesn't mean that you're bringing some spicy note or some pepper, no, no. It's because you need to accommodate the, the, the notes. Let's do it again. You see? For sure, this cigar opened with a nice, nice touch of her, uh, herbal notes, like, yeah. For example, when you go to uh, to cut your grass, it's not the same when you cut it green or or or, or, or uh, dry, you know, because when they come dry, some uh, earthy dry notes come. This is a green, like a Christmas time. This is a unique flavor that is coming to me. Also, I can feel some uh, uh, some uh, 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 dry fruit notes like almonds or nudes, very nudes at the beginning. Open it, open it with the, for sure with a some touch of wood. Uh, most of our, our cigars, we ate the tobacco in, uh, uh, in cedar wood. So in my case, the, the, the flavor that comes to me easy is the touch of wood related to cedar. Could be whatever type of wood that you, uh, where you was young, you was uh, in that in that country or on the field. Remember, flavor is very personal, bring to you memory. So each cigar is not the same. Maybe for me they taste unique. Maybe for you take a little bit, uh, not exactly like me. It's very personal. This is the reason why I see so many cigars in the market, but. For sure, La Aurora cigar, all the time, try to bring you the best to the best, all the time. Those flavors that all the time you're looking for. Yeah, absolutely. Woods continue, some uh, touch of uh, cinnamon, a little bit sweetness in the, in the, to in the tongue. Uh, and here a little bit spicy. So the touch of cinnamon can bring you the spiciness at the freshness at the end, give it the touch of, of sweetness because the fresh that the, the cinnamon has. Sometimes, most of the time, we need something to increase those flavor, potentialize flavor. 
uh, that's a, uh, that thing could be drinks, could be chocolate, for sure, could be coffee, could be sparky water also, because they clean the, the, the palate when you, when you get it. Uh, for sure, my team, we will talk about how to get with the food and the, how to get a, a strong or, or, or light cigar with the food. I will leave this to my, my colleagues. In my case, I have a very unique room. Laurora room. Very unique. 10 years, 10 years old. Uh, age here is uh, 80 in uh, um, uh, up Barry. And two more years in Bourbon Bar. So, it's amazing this room. They have two medals for win in the, in the association, according to the association. So I hope you have in your hand this beautiful room. If we know, just let me know. I will try to see what I can do for you. <laughs> so I just want to add something. For those who are not smoking or drinking at this moment, this uh, we will just upload this video to the YouTube of the association so you can recreate this tasting and pairing later with your own, own personal touch if you like. So don't worry about that. It's a... Uh, <laughs> Uh, now you know, I, I know uh, how the cigar is going on in the, in the first pair. I know what I got now. I got some touch of wood, some nutty, some spicy, and some herbal notes. Huh? Uh, and the rum is a very ambering, uh, 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 the color is very ambering, very unique. And the nose, the nose open like a bull, like a good bull. I can smell so that's a touch of honey, a cocoa, dark chocolate for sure. Ah, by the way, this rum is not made by melasa. It's made by the juice of the sugar cane. This is another process that's they give you the special touch that the, that the rum has. I will clean up a little bit the palate to put the palate able to receive information. Amazing. Now, sal uh, salud. I was, I was going to propose a toast to, to you, to Laurora, and to all the friends who have joined today with us. So, cheers. Cheers. Now, I have my palate and board with this beautiful rum that I've got. Let's see what happens now with the cigar. Hey, like I tell you, it's amazing. Flavors, like resins, coming now more elegant. Oh, also, uh, the that chocolate, that chocolate coming very unique, very smooth. Also some tons of cream, like cream coffee. Not, uh, it's a torrefato, yes, but it's just a little bit cream, very unique. It's amazing how the, the drinks can affect uh, at the moment that you smoke. This is the reason why you need to know your cigar, your cigar, you need to know, you need to know what flavor is coming through. And you need to know the drink that you will use. Because if I use one drink that is coming very spicy, very smoky, let's say very smoky, all the time my cigar will be involved in the smoky drinks. And that's not good because remember, a good cigar needs to be changing, need to be bringing different things. But if you have some drink that all the time is smoking, all those flavors will be coming out. All the time you will get smoky wood and the, and the taste. But when you have a very smooth drink that you know, 
could be given, it, it potentialize the flavors that the tobacco has, because the tobacco has it. Tobacco has that alone. It's coming more aggressive and good tan when you have a good drink like mine. Huh? So you remember, at the beginning, we start with something dryness, something woody. Now they go to the sweetest side, like honey, like vanilla, very nice tropical fruits coming at that moment. Very unique tropical fruit, yes, absolutely. Excuse me, uh, if you don't mind, I would like to add uh, something about the rum. The rum is called Ilion Jimenez. Um, it was released in 2013 mm -hmm. to commemorate uh, the 110 years anniversary of the compact. Uh, it's a rum that is, has been aged during eight years in uh, American bottles, oak bottles, yep. four years in French oak bottles. So, um, as Manuel uh, said before, uh, we received a double medal gold in the last uh, uh, San Francisco event. That is the, one of the most prestigious uh, spirits events in, in the world, as you probably know. So we can consider this spirit as one of the best, not only, it's one of the best rums in the world. So sorry, Manuel, it was just to, uh, to, to, to add to your uh, introduction about the rum. No, 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 welcome. Uh, always welcome, I'm from, my friend. Uh, for you, it's, it's like I say, it's one of the best rums in the market. For me, I am rum drinker. It's the best run that I can drink. <laughs> we do a lot of a lot of job to get that uh, uh, that beautiful uh, essence of a god that we can drink. <laughs> well, we are final, finalizing the first thirst into the cigar. It's finalizing very very grounded uh, cocoa note, raisin, um, honey, um, nice tropical fruit. We have to wait until the second, uh, second third to see what will happen. Uh, it's your turn, my darling. Thank you. Thank you. So now we want to, uh, to hear our experts in the chocolate and coffee, what they have uh, prepared for this uh, pairing. Please. OK. Awesome. Uh, maybe I'm going to do an addition or an introduction about chocolate because with the first third that we have in this cigar, uh, it's amazing because we explore the flavors in the chocolate. For me, uh, I love to start, for example, here to develop every third, uh, starting for 70 percentage in concentration about cacao. And uh, maybe my suggestion is work principally with fine flavor cocoa. This is a special variety that we have in all these uh, Latin America, in, all, in different places in Latin America. But for example, in Dominicana, in Colombia, we have this variety and we can find it in Europe, uh, some chocolates made with this variety or uh, in North America, Central and South America, okay? Uh, today, I have one uh, 72 percentage that come from Colombia in the north, in Sierra Nevada. Uh, and this is a so special a chocolate because has a lot of fruits, a lot of uh, creamy, navy sensations, and maybe create a round palate, uh, really interesting when you smoke, because you maybe reduce the spicy that Manuel explained about the cigar, but complement all the flavors together and create maybe a slowly a smoke. And obviously with the coffee that Paul going to explain, and uh, with the rum, uh, was an amazing uh, starting for this first stir, in my opinion, in my case. Thank you, Oscar. So, Paul, I think I have Paul in other, oh, there you are. <laughs> hey, um, sure, so um, I'm not sure if the, the entire group have our, our notes uh, for this session. Um, I'll, but I'll just speak uh, uh, just on, on my recommendation. Um, before Please. I speak on my recommendation, um, uh, we, we're fanatics about coffee, uh, specifically specialty coffee, um, because it's the most complex food or beverage on earth. Um, 
there's a lot that you can you can taste in coffee, uh, and that's why I think I, I, pers- I have a personal belief that it's it's perhaps one of the greatest uh, beverages to as a companion for fine tobacco. Um, I wanted to uh, give a shout out uh, to Credence to um, the an, an excellent specialty coffee roasting community in Europe. Um, so I wanted to offer a, a recommendation. I have three recommendations here listed uh, for the first pairing. Um, I'm I'm, uh, I'm recommending a uh, a great company out of uh, near um, out of North Italy. It's called um, uh, Our, uh, His Majesty the Coffee. Um, they're doing exceptional roasting. Um, they're uh, not only doing classic Italian uh, roasting. Uh, and all that means, but also they've been um, just as creative as anyone else in this, this, this kind of up and coming exciting specialty coffee roasting community. Um, this first coffee is a micro lot. Um, it's coming from perhaps the most famous ridge line for coffee in the world, um, from Boquete, Panama. Um, Boquete is uh, not only world famous for its terroir, but also for its, uh, its creativity on the farm, at farm gates. Um, uh, the community there are, are, are constantly experimenting with new varietals, um, new fermentation processes, new drying processes. This first coffee, um, uh, it's actually called Bonita, which means pretty in Spanish, um, I think is a really good coffee to, um, to contrast uh, some of these first notes. Uh, I wanted to throw at you uh, maybe a more exotic uh, coffee to encourage you all to try uh, a coffee that's maybe more floral, fruity than uh, what you perhaps are, are accustomed to, to really get into uh, some of the unique uh, notes you can get out of coffee. So let's talk about the coffee. Um, it's coming from the Miro family. Again, very creative family that's producing um, not only the Geisha varietal, which is an old world varietal, world renowned from Panama, uh, Panama but also um, they're using new world varietals such as Katuai, um, and they're fermenting in unique ways to extract uh, quite surprising flavors in the palate. So um, this coffee is going to contrast a little from from uh, what the team here is is, is putting forth and, and on, on the pairing. Um, it's a uh, it's a natural processed coffee. Um, natural processed coffee is the most traditional way to process coffee on raised beds, entirely sun dried coffee. Um, that's typically going to give us a a more acidic and certainly sweet um, a flavor profile for that coffee. Um, Bonita uh, is prepared in a, in a way to bring out black cherry, um, uh, tropical fruits, um, as, as Manuel was describing here, approaching the, uh, the end of the first third. Um, in this case, a lot of strawberry, a lot of grape, um, but it also has a little bit of cacao notes in this coffee. Um, I've illustrated as well different ways to prepare your coffee. Um, uh, I always like to interject that coffee is, is a very personal beverage. We all prefer coffee the way that we prefer it. Uh, my customers in, in Germany vary from Austria, from Italy, from to Asia, to North America. It's very, it's very important to, 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 to try new things, but to hone in on, on what you most enjoy at home. Um, uh, I've also included different ways to prepare coffee, and I'm, I'm happy to answer those questions perhaps at the end when we have more time. Um, I think that's I think that perhaps covers uh, the first coffee. Thank you, Paul. So, Oscar, going back to you, I think it's important for our friends to know exactly how to enjoy the chocolate with a cigar. So, you know, maybe how we are supposed to how much we are supposed to put in our mouth, how to let it melt. So could you please explain that? For sure. Uh, for example, in my first choice that I have a 72 percentage, this 72 percentage normally, in my opinion, or normally my, my experience, my personal experience, I always first start with the smoking the cigar. Okay. Normally I pair with water, rums, coffee, like today, but if we have just chocolate, for example, like uh, maybe personal experience, personal like it, uh, I first smoke the cigar, and with all the smoke in my tongue, in my mouth, I put the cigar. In short, instant, because the, this sensation between 
the smoke in your mouth and the creamy sensation about the chocolate in your tongue, in your palate, uh, create maybe this complement. I see one question about maybe uh, if today is a contrast or is a complement. Uh, and today we try to do a complement with this cigar because this cigar has a great experience in the month because combined flavors like spicy, like flowers, like little bit fruity flavors, and obviously uh, some cacao and coffee notes, uh, like a roaster notes. And with this uh, cigar for me, the chocolate to a star was a maybe dark chocolate, but no it's ultra dark or maybe 90 percentage right now, okay, in this third, because the, the star here is maybe to create a great complement with the light starting flavors, and obviously when we start to burn all the cigar. Thank you very much, Oscar. So it's very important just to um, clarify that, because it's important for all to know that you can pair in each third different type of uh, chocolates and coffees, depending on the notes, right? So please, Manuel, you have the floor again. Thank yes, you. Yes. <laughs> well, we start in the thick of third. It's amazing, but when you find it, uh, we continue getting that nice uh, chocolate note. Uh, for me, it's a dark chocolate, uh, not the, the sweet chocolate, the milk chocolate, I mean. It's, I have the creamy, but it's not for the for the chocolate, the cream that came into the, the coffee. But uh, coffee, it's, it's amazing that flavor that it brings to you with the cream creamy, and you can identify it like that. Also that nice touch of dark chocolate, is, uh, it's a little bit up and up with the some spices and uh, some uh, pepper. No, uh, that strong pepper like uh, red or black pepper. It's something related, but smooth smooth, very, very clean. They keep uh, the mouth a little bit uh, 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 fresh, like mint, like mint. Mints belong to the urban nose. So I'm already telling you that urban nose is the good size is uh, 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 appearing on the, on the cigar, absolutely. I think that we need a little help from the, from the my beautiful Elion Jimenez drum, so I will bring more flavor to you. Now. Mm. Something that I don't get in the beginning, some leather notes appear in there. Use leather. Don't think it out. Very nice, brand new Mercedes Benz seat first, uh, seat or whatever illusory car you can find. Thinking in use leather that you use in the wallets or you use in the belt, in the baseball glove, or the saddle of the horse when you're riding on it. Bring me to the farm. That's flavor to me. The leather touch is coming. Very smooth, very nice. Also, tropical fruits coming uh, again more uh, tropical in the side of the citrus because uh, I start to saliva a, a little bit more. And the fresh citrus is coming uh, up and up, uh, starting to the, third, uh, the second third. I think I will go through uh, 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 all the, uh, at the, the end because it's a, a great, great flavor that's coming with this cigar. All those tobacco bats are very well selecting the crops that we use in this from 10 years, eight years ago, was amazing. But it was very nice crop in Brazil that I bring it to you. A nice crop on, on Nicaragua for that side. Nicaragua from Eteli, because Eteli have a very nice flavor that I like it a lot. Um, for sure, the beautiful tobacco from the Cibao Valley, like, like Loto Cubano, like Rio uh, 98, it's amazing. So those flavor combining, when you put it together, they, good, they get a very good combination. So your cigar, to have a nice experience, need to be changing all the time, all the time. Because if not change, it will be a boring cigar. Uh, I don't like boring cigar. I love cigar that is exciting all the time, bringing flavors, bringing emotion, you know? 
I don't know if you will be ready to answer some question. You just let me know. So, no, Manuel, I would like to um, Oscar and um, Paul also, since we are in the second, third, just to make their suggestions in this case, and then uh, we'll answer questions after we are already into the third, third. So you can explain, uh, you, so you can give the whole explanation about how the your cigar evolves. So please, uh, Oscar, do you mind just telling us what's your suggestion for this second, third, and Paul too, please? Okay, in my case, uh, about the, the suggestion in, in, in the second, third, Interesting because the first chocolate that I suggest, the 72 percentage, come from a really higher place. But this is around at 5,300 meters about sea level. Okay, and my second suggestion is about that one chocolate that we produce in Colombia that can uh, about sea level almost, or maybe uh, two, uh, 20 meters about sea level that come from the south in Colombia. But this, but this chocolate is an 82 percentage increase the, pens, the percentage, but it's different about the expression. Oscar? First one, uh, uh, the combination, for example, is that here change the creamy sensation, highest creamy sensation to combine more powerful notes in addition with Manuel. Okay, uh, because and I'll say that here maybe disappear a little bit the, the cre this creamy sensation and convert more to coffee. Okay, and for example, today uh, about the special coffee, I, I, I follow the suggestion about Paul and I have a Sudan Rume uh, variety in the special coffee. And this Sudan Rume with this 82% for me was a really amazing pairing. I start for coffee, then continue with cigar the coffee prepare or my puffles or my tongue or my palate, then I smoke the cigar in the second third and then continue with the 82 percentage that increase all or power for all the notes about cacao and coffee and get maybe I get a good uh, complementation combination uh, in between flavors. Maybe don't disappear the cigar, don't disappear the, the chocolate, all come together like a great dish uh, in a fine dining, for example. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. So, Paul. Okay. Um, uh, my second pairing um, is also uh, is also taking us to the south of Colombia, a region called Tambo in the Valle of Cauca. That this is a valley that's also very well known in, in, in our global coffee community. Um, perhaps something I didn't touch on in the earlier the earlier pairing is that I'm also uh, extending roast profiles from from light to dark. Through these three pairings to go in conjunction with with that with how we're pairing with this excellent rum in this in, in the cigar. Um, so this the, the the first pairing was a lighter roast coffee. Um, this one's a, a medium coffee. Uh, that's going to give us slightly more body. Uh, to complement um, not only Oscar's chocolate, but uh, but again all these other notes that that uh, that we're trying to counterbalance with uh, this very sweet and delicate rum and the earthier notes that are coming through. Um, uh, you may you may be reading here that I, that I've noted uh, dark berries on this specific coffee, cacao, uh, bergamot tea, uh, black tea with um, with uh, the, the herbal notes that uh, we're all getting from the cigar by now uh, in the second in the, in the second third here uh, with medium um, medium citric acidity. Um, uh, acids uh, make coffee a unique pairing beverage because um, they help to cleanse our palate. Um, and, they, and, and when we're tasting or when we're cupping coffee, um, acidity actually helps us to bring forth uh, sweet notes um, and floral notes too. Um, uh, I would argue that the notes that make coffee the best, most distinguished, um, perhaps are very exotic fruit notes um, uh, combined with bright acidity or certainly um, very unique herbal or floral notes that come subtly in coffee. Um, and uh, I think that those types of floral uh, herbal notes that I'm hoping that you can pair with uh, this coffee or, or, or similar coffee like the Sudan Rome um, that, uh, that Oscar's drinking in Cartagena um, to help really, really pair with those subtle herbal notes that you're perhaps getting by now in the second, third. Um, and, uh, the final thing that I wanted to mention that uh, that occurred to me was um, uh, I wanted to talk very briefly about about caffeine. Um, 
caffeine like make it, uh, helps activate our neuro uh, our neuro uh, receptors. Uh, it helps us to not only smell but certainly taste better. Um, so I think that uh, by drinking coffee, even even 20 minutes prior to the smoke, um, can help to maybe even um, maybe even enhance your experience. Um, it takes typically for the human body, human brain, about 30 minutes for those neuroreceptors to activate. Um, so by now, certainly we have caffeine flowing in our brain. Um, uh, so so that's going to help us. Um, and my final shout out is uh, this coffee from Colombia. Um, the Michael is called Laja, uh, La Laja. For our friends uh, joining us today from Germany, um, uh, this is roasted by probably one of the most talked about roasters around the world. Um, and it's called the Barn. So uh, for you folks in Europe, I uh, highly recommend you support this uh, local company. Um, they'll ship fresh directly uh, to your home all over Europe and for other parts around the world. Thank you, Paul. So we have to let Manuel tell us what he has been feeling. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree with you, my friend. Uh, I'm getting very nice uh, uh, floral notes, like lily flowers in it. It's amazing that the, uh, how the flowers come in uh, uh, this part of the ending part. Also, uh, very nice touch of, of the roasty coffee is coming. But you remember at the beginning, I'm telling you that start with a very unique good taste. But now the wooded notes coming that smoke wood. Uh, I know that it's coming because we uh, aged the tobacco in rum butter, and the rum butter is burning inside. So those wood burn that we can we can tell the smoke wood is coming now. Very uh, subtle, very elegant. Uh, combining with that touch of co uh, coffee, uh, rustic coffee, and the cocoa. Now I cannot describe if it's uh, the dark chocolate or the white chocolate, but it's amazing the flavor that's coming with the, uh, the sweetness of uh, the honey, uh, the honey that the rum has, and uh, the honey that the tobacco has too. So uh, this is an amazing experience to smoke that beautiful cigar when you bring all that flavor in your mind. It's the only way to, to uh, enjoy a nice cigar, when you bring all those combination with the flavors uh, at the beginning and the third and the second third, and just in the end, it's coming more, more exciting. I, I tell the people the best thing at the end is the best. The end and everything is the best. So now it's coming like, explode that the true flavor that's coming now. It's amazing. Yeah, the, the touch of leather keeping the, just like this, uh, it's smooth, but uh, now we come and the, I tell him, I don't know if I'm wrong or right, in the, in the dark side. When I say dark side, it's dark chocolate, uh, a rich, uh, rich vanilla, a grapefruit honey, honey, uh, the coffee coming more aggressive and good time. Huh? You can get more Dutch flavors are coming to you. Also, don't forget about the uh, the touch of uh, uh, how do I say it? it belong to the to the room. It's like a it's like a, a combination of vanilla and honey uh, together coming up, uh, overlap my time now. Also, when you do it through the nose, that touch of melassa is inside there. So now that that type of flavor that tell that I by myself, I don't know if I'm wrong or right when I'm telling you, they came with, with the dark side uh, with that beautiful uh, uh, strong flavors, like strong coffee, roasty coffee, strong uh, uh, chocolate. You know, on the sweet side, the sweetness in this time coming because the vanilla and the spices of the, of the cinnamon. It's amazing. Uh, then I, sorry, I, I can do some addition about the rum. Of course, go ahead. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you because it's important uh, maybe to, to talking a little bit about the notes that the rum express with the cigar because this is a good, really good pairing 
because with all this compliment about coffee, rum, chocolate, it's interesting because with water, we can't feel normally some soluble solution, a soluble uh, substance that we have in the smoke, when we smoke. For example, this letter or, or some notes more, uh, more higher or more profound, more deep, that normally we can't feel just with water. And with the room, this note explodes. And this explosion right. was, was, cre was created an amazing pairing between the room and obviously with all the other complements. So then we have a, maybe a, a great dish. Uh, uh, this is like a, the main dish is the, is the cigar and the complements were the chocolate, coffee, and obviously the room. And the room here helps a lot to express all the process that has in, our, in La Aurora to create this perfect blending about the cigar. And obviously all the work that Manuel does about this amazing cigar. Thank you very much, Oscar. It's true. Please, oh, Manuel. Oh yeah, uh, uh, in, my, in my case now, I don't get it at the very beginning. Now I, I can get some uh, uh, white fruit, like a berry, like a blueberry, amazing flavors that you can get it. Very uh, uh, sweetness. Um, white, but a nice flavor coming for the for the berries. I love that. I love that. Mm. Combine it with the nice touches, the smoky woods, uh, do the perfect combination when they do any of the cigar. You never want to let it go. You want to keep it all the time smoking. <laughs> I love the cigar. It's an amazing it, yeah. cigar. So it's very important what Oscar and Manuel, what they have said, because uh, for us, so the main figure is the cigar. So everything that we find is just to complement the enjoyment and to enhance the enjoyment of the cigar, right? So we have to know both the cigar and we, what, what we want to, um, to pair with the cigar. But for us, the main, the main figure is always the cigar. So everything goes around the cigar. So we create just uh, like a nice experience to enhance the flavors and uh, profile of our cigar. Thank you very much, Oscar. So what do you think, Manuel, since uh, we have been advancing on the cigar, if we hear the proposal for the third third? Yeah, have... yeah. Uh, Would you like to add something? Would you like to add something before the... Yeah, yeah. I, I want to add that. I remember that uh, when you want to, in your case, that you are sommelier, you need to know the cigars and the drinks to recommend to the uh, customer. So you have to be sure that the cigar will be nice with the drinks that you want to recommend. Also with the food, because you are involved in this type of work. So uh, cigar need to be a complement of the drinks or the food, not too much, not too less, but to be uh, on the same page, if that the drink doesn't fight with the cigar because you want to enjoy a good cigar. If the cigars exactly. don't do the complement with the food over the drinks, you will lose your time. So it had to be elegant, had to be nice, had to be dynamic cigar to change all the all the time, like that cigar the 115 anniversary. So we will have to tell uh, Miguel, which is the executive director of the International Association of Cigar Sommeliers, and he has been just uh, helping and uh, with all from behind the curtain. You will you will deserve the the certification because what you just said, you know, what you just said is exactly our principle. So in uh, from the cigar sommelier point of view you have to recommend your uh, clients what to pair with the cigars they like, but also it's important for us to know what they have eaten before. That's right. That's because right. If, if it's not the same just to have had a succulent lunch or just a light snack. So depending on what you eat, so it also is the recommendation in terms of smoking and in terms of drinking too. So it has a... Uh, that's a principle in this, uh, in this uh, world of cigar sommeliers. So, Oscar and Paul, please, would you mind just uh, recommending uh, what do you think might be the pairing for this third third by now? Paul, would you like to make the, the explication? Because I think that this time is, is better for the coffee first. 
and then continue with the with the chocolate. Uh, you are the experts. Please, Paul. That, that sounds great, Oscar. Sounds good. Um, so this last coffee, I'm I'm really trying to simulate um, specifically for for the tobacco um, to complement this rum, um, this very sweet and yet spicy rum. Um, this coffee is dark roasted. Uh, so for all of you, uh, all of you fans of dark roasted coffee, this one's for you. Um, and it's coming from a roaster called Caravan Roasters um, in the UK. Uh, the roastery is located in, um, in London. They do, for, for the locals there, they do some, some really cool uh, events uh, regarding roasting and tasting there. Um, this is called the Daily Blend. Um, and hence the name, it's, it's for the every, everyday coffee drinker. Uh, it just happens to have a really great profile. Um, caramelized fruits, specifically plum, I'm gathering. Uh, again, that's that's accompanying the sweet, this this great syrupy honey sweetness of that rum, um, and and it's certainly bringing forth some of those darker fruit notes that we're getting on the final third. Um, it's a low acidity coffee, um, like a porter beer. Uh, it's it's slightly sweet because it's low acidic and it's a darker roasted coffee um, that's properly dark roasted, um, and then and then, and then it's got nutmeg and almonds that really complement. Um, these, these cinnamon notes or the, in these other spicy notes, even peppery notes that we're getting, um, not only in the tobacco, but certainly in that, that final piece of the, of, of, of the rum taste. Um, and of course, dark chocolate. So um, I'm hoping that this is really gonna pay, pair well with, uh, with Oscar's uh, a great um, uh, high percentage uh, cacao recommendation. Um, a brief synopsis on, on where these coffees are coming from, uh, FYI. 50% uh, of the blends coming from um, a great co-op uh, cooperative, uh, a smallholder coffee uh, cooperative in the central highlands of Guatemala. Um, that's most likely where we're going to get um, some slight herbal notes and some fruit notes. 25% um, of the coffee is coming from the most famous coffee growing region in Kenya, the Nyeri Valley. Um, that's going to bring some of those, the, some of the fruit notes, the dried fruits, specifically the plum. Uh, note that we're getting in, in this coffee that I'm recommending. And then finally, the final 25% is coming from um, uh, uh, Indonesia. Um, that is going to bring more of the earthier uh, uh, cacao notes uh, that I'm hoping you get in this coffee. Um, now, um, aside from my specific recommendation out of the UK, um, any dark coffee would work here. Um, uh, a quick note about uh, the use of creams and milks, because I'm not against that at all. Um, many of us enjoy coffee with, with cream uh, or, or milk in whatever fashion that we choose. Um, uh, make sure that you're, you're cleansing your palate, um, either with the rum or with uh, uh, any, any still water or um, sparkling water. Um, here we have a local sp uh, sparkling water here. Um, make sure you're cleansing it um, in between you're tasting or you're pairing with, 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 the, with the food, with the, with the chocolate and the coffee um, before you're getting uh, back to the tobacco. Um, the fats and milk, um, uh, cool. and you can try this like a milk-based uh, coffee drink and then smoking immediately after, and then trying, um, then trying to drink that same drink, cleansing your palate um, with, with still water or the rum, and then trying to smoke, you're going to notice that um, that the, the, those creams will dull out a little bit of your your your, your taste buds, uh, because essentially it coats your tongue. Um, so uh, that's I guess just a, a pro tip um, if you choose to to incorporate a, a milk based drink in this final pairing. Thank you very much, Paul. That was great, and uh, Oscar. Let me just ask you one thing. After you explain about the chocolate, I would like to, to explain a little bit more about water because Paul has brought this to the table and which this is very important for us when uh, smoking a cigar, water. And since you are a water sommelier, so we can have very good uh, advices from you too. Thank you very much, Paul. That was great to remark on that. Okay, about the water is important because when we're going to prepare the, the coffee, the idea is then to do this very confusing, but uh, the water is really important. Maybe Paul agree with me because the water is really, really important to prepare your coffee, okay? And for example, normally when we're talking about cigars, we say that it's important the gas water, okay? 
but uh, because this cleaning your palate. But in this case, my suggestion, this is maybe more personal things, that uh, I think that the, uh, the still water, maybe financial water, maybe a uh, flat water with a low minerality, maybe just to clean your palate, create maybe a great pairing with all these additional products, okay? If you're going to have just water, uh, gas water, for example, uh, in this case, it's important the gas water can from a maybe subsoil, maybe this gas water has maybe a good complement to clean all your palate, but here the water is maybe more complement uh, all the, the palate tasting, okay? And about the, maybe that's the, the, the answer, uh, the nice, or the, the, that's all the answer for you? No, it's, 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 it's great. So you can okay. continue with that. Thank okay. you very much. And about the, the chocolate, for example, in this case, I continue with a 85 percentage. Maybe I increase a little bit the percentage, but not too much. Maybe if we, we have a 90, 95, in my opinion, for this cigar, it's really high. It's really a strong percentage for this sensation of cigar. But uh, with this 85, maybe one specific brand that I can suggest, for example, here, is a brand that you can find in Europe that is Godiva in 85 percentage. Godiva 85 percentage, for example, is a blending between Dominican cacao uh, with other places in, in uh, Latin America and South African cacao. Uh, and uh, this, um, this blending create maybe a perfect, a good fermentation, good roasting, and create maybe a perfect balance with this. But uh, maybe uh, just to find all the additions that you say, Paul, that you say, Manuela, and you deny about the rums and all the products together, uh, maybe it's important to remember that, uh, that when we're talking about with Miguel and all the training that we have about cigar sommelier or master cigar sommelier, uh, it's about uh, a thing that we have a sandwich uh, about all the products uh, together, but in an order. Uh, we start, like uh, we say, first with the cigar. Uh, the cigar is the, is the most important place uh, or the most important product here. And then we can buy it with coffee, then with cigar, then with rum, then with cigar, and then chocolate. And all together combined really well. Uh, maybe that's the reason that some people do that I smoke a little bit, drink, then go into the chocolate, then smoke again, and continuously, okay? Because these uh, maybe uh, sensations that we uh, pair in and share here together with all, uh, we create maybe a great explosion for all the elements and all the flavors and all the notes that we have in the cigar, okay? Uh, for me, uh, obviously, like a sommelier, normally, I like to explore all the aromas, all the flavors, all, all the possible yeah. pairings, and for me, that's maybe a, a good possible pairing that we can do with all together, but creating a, like a sandwich, uh, like a baby desplication about sandwich. Maybe you can add something here than I. Thank you very much. That's, uh, that's great, Oscar, to bring that uh, theory. Manuel, please. Yeah. We, want, yeah. we want to hear you again. Hey. And now we have finalized the ending of the, the last third. So I can tell you. Uh, all those beautiful things that you say about the chocolate, the coffee, the rum, uh, absolutely is extremely good. But without the cigars, you don't have uh, the right combination at the end. So the tobacco bring you all the time of uh, keeping your mouth uh, with the cocoa taste. But for sure, you have a more beautiful things uh, in terms of flavor when you're smoking. Now the dark chocolate, the coffee, uh, also the, the floral nuts keeping right there. So it's amazing when you they smoke a nice cigars, a combine, a combine with a, a nice chocolate, my night drinks, in this case, our room, uh, the coffee, the chocolate. It's amazing because of the flavors with got getting together and people we enjoy it people we enjoy it at this moment i don't want to let my cigar i want to keep it smoking so <laughs> what can i tell you it's one of the it's one of the best that i've wrote made we have a lot of cigars that bring a different uh, emotion in this case you know florals citrus coffee on the cocoa side and the coffee side a very unique very elegant cigar that you can uh, recommend to your friends. It's, sure. it's, a, it's a great cigar and I would like Gustavo 
please, if you could just uh, help us with some information here, because I know that this cigar was uh, awarded like uh, um, here in Romania. I am in Romania, so I, it's uh, for the friends who are listening and, uh, to us. I am in Romania, and I know that in November last year, this cigar uh, was uh, awarded with some... Uh, could you please, Gustavo, uh, explain about this? Because it's true that this is a great cigar, and not only that, Cigar Journal also had it in it's, uh, as a, one of the best cigars in 2019. Could you explain about that? Yeah, the cigar is uh, to commemorate 115 years of uh, the company history. Um, and we introduce the regular edition, that is the one that we are smoking now, and the limited edition. It was just uh, only 3,000 boxes. Um, the regular edition was considered by the, um, some of the most important uh, tobacco magazines, like uh, Cigar and Spirits, um, two others. It was not just one. And you're right, also Cigar Journal. Uh, gave us, uh, I can't remember the rating, but it was really high, but it was considered as uh, one of the best of the year. But for, for, for some of them, like uh, uh, Figaro and Spirits, it was considered as the best cigar of the year. So um, I think that Manuel here made an amazing uh, job for the limited edition, but also for the regular edition. So a cigar like this, that is to find in, uh, in the shops. To have this high standard, I think it's something amazing. It is, indeed. It is, indeed. So it's had been, the cigar is great, but just uh, the hand of uh, Manuel is behind all this also, right? And his team, too, I imagine. So, but this is a, a great creation. And we are really happy to be enjoying this cigar today. And we are really uh, honored to have you here, too. So, what, Manuel, would you like to add something else uh, in regards to your, to your baby? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this baby would take a lot of job to do it. Uh, we took around two years to develop that uh, cigar, waiting for the time. In, in tobacco business, you cannot rush the time. You have to take your time to get the, the right cigar to bring it to the market. Because people are demanding all the time uh, good cigar flavors and things like that. This is the reason why you like one one cigars because the flavor that I bring to you. So with the team, we develop the beautiful cigars. Um, take time. We do around uh, sixty different samples to get the right one at the end. So uh, we work hard for two years, uh, trying to trying to create this uh, this baby because uh, what's up. Uh, a very exciting moment to celebrate 115 years. Not every company can say that. So exactly. we had to be uh, very unique for the uh, consumer. And I think we do a very good job because uh, we receive a lot of a lot of advertisement with a high uh, rating in this. And we're very really proud. We are very proud of this beautiful product. I hope all the, the, the people that sharing the time with us can get in. Uh, sooner or later, when I can see it in the, in the in, uh, uh, YouTube, but you be sure that you get the cigar to get this amazing experience that we are getting now. So, what can I talk? Yeah, indeed. So that's what I was saying before that for those who have have not uh, smoking this cigar, but they are able to to buy the cigar at some point and they want to recreate all this experience so they have all the information and also we can provide uh, the information in regards to chocolate and coffee they can find that in our um, contacts at the International Association of Cigar Sommeliers and uh, video is going to be um, uploaded also in our YouTube channel so everybody who's uh, interested in uh, learning a little bit more about how to cure and how to enjoy the cigar, how to enhance this experience, can just uh, reach those, uh, the, those contacts, those informations that we will be providing for everybody. So uh, I think that we might just answer some questions. Uh, I have to, to ask Miguel if uh, there are some questions from the, the audience. I believe that some people, they may want to know some, some things before we finish our Wonderful cigar. (laughs) 
I don't know in the case of Oscar or Paul, if you would like to add something. I, I just uh, sent the, I'm sending the questions in the chat. So the first question we receive is how do we approach uh, cigar and drink pairing according to the flavor notes or body strength or maybe both? Okay, so uh, Manuel, would you like to talk a little bit about the, the body of the cigar and the strength of the cigar since uh, La Aurora has this wonderful pairing with this cigar and, uh, and the drinks and maybe we can add some other uh, information also for the, for the friends. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all the La Aurora products or the cigar that we make is not full body cigar. Because we don't, brand, we don't want to bring uh, a full body cigar to kill people. I want to bring cigar full flavors to bring people to be happy. So we're taking care of a lot of, uh, a lot of things at the moment we develop one product to be uh, the medium to full body. This cigar is medium to full. What does that mean? Uh, the, with, you can get more flavor when you do a medium to full body. No full body because the power can kill the flames. So we keep the cigar very smooth, very uh, elegant, that we combine it with different type of food, different type of drinks. So it's important to bring cigar that don't put it you to kill it. Uh, cigar is to put the people happy, not to be sweltering, not to be sad, to be happy. And the only way to do that is getting nice Touch of flavors in it, like tropical fruit, the flour, like uh, 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 honey, like uh, woods notes, like uh, cream notes, uh, also a very dry fruit notes that appear in these cigars. That's just amazing. They keep in the mouth very uh, oily when you taste the 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 uh, the almond. When you take the notes of walnuts coming uh, just at the end. It's amazing when you do that. Um, uh, for sure, it to be supposed to be a very unique cigar. You can combine it, combine with another type of uh, uh, food or drinks. So it's very important to take care of that when you are thinking in a, on, the, on the palate of the, of the consumer, that this is most important for us, to put the consumer happy when they get the cigar. Full right. body for us is not, it's not a big deal. We can't do it, but I think that I cannot bring something that strong and that, that you cannot smoke, that you cannot smoke in one time. We need to smoke at least three times a day. So uh, with one strong cigar, maybe you don't smoke anymore. So it's more uh, uh, elegant, it's more nice to get a very balanced cigar, very uh, a dynamic cigar, and people can tell, people can talk. And the full body, I don't think people can talk because all the time we was concentrated, uh, like dying. You know what I mean? Right. So uh, I would like to add something uh, from the, the association perspective is uh, just as a guideline. So we don't consider that we have rules, but guidelines in terms of pairing. And we also recommend just to go by intensity, right? So if you like to, if you know your cigar and you know how intense your cigar is, so just try to find some drinks according to that intensity. So not to go too low or too high. So there, for not to have um, one product overlapping the other one. So that's just a general guideline in terms of pairing. I don't know if uh, um, Oscar or Paul, would you like to add something in that sense? Maybe in my opinion, I, I, normally I try to, to do all the pairings that I try, that I explore uh, to combine all the maybe attestments that the cigar has because uh, in my opinion, this is really important. Uh, we're talking before that the cigar is the most important part to yes. do this pairing. And with the cigar, like the most important part, I evaluate normally the body strength and the flavor notes. And with these notes together, I try to combine both together, okay? We can do per contrast or per uh, complement. 
is possible in both ways, okay? But uh, normally, uh, if, we, if, if, if I want to enjoy, if the people want to enjoy in really, maybe the complement was the better uh, practice with the cigar because we complement all the flavors that the cigar has. Uh, like we explain about the, the room, for example, that explode all the notes, or for example, the coffee uh, brings a lot of notes uh, with the torrefact uh, flavors, with all the, for example, cherry, dark cherry sensations, uh, maybe create a great, great complement. If you want to contrast, maybe it's possible, but this is a personal choice in, in my opinion, okay? I, I normally uh, have in mind all uh, the cigar, all the environment and obviously all the attainments that the cigar has and create a pairing with both. Exactly. Paul, would you like to add something in that sense, please? Sure. Um, I'll echo uh, both uh, Manuel and Oscar's comments. Um, <clears throat> I guess the, the best analogy I've, I've arrived to um, in my career now is, um, and maybe it's now that I'm in South America and I'm married to, uh, to my Colombian wife, um, but I like to attribute a lot to, uh, I guess the best analogy I can come up with is, uh, is, um, is dancing. <laughs> um, you know, I, I grew up um, two, two hours outside of Kentucky in the Midwest USA, um, and I love my culture, um, but uh, uh, dancing down here has taught me um, those, those rudimentary uh, lessons in, in, in comparing or simulation and contrast. Um, I, I really enjoy food, uh, Oscar and I, um, uh, we, we've talked about this. Uh, uh, we're both excited about how uh, smoke can really enhance um, the culinary experience, um, uh, whether that's whether that's drinking something or consuming something, coffee, water, rum, or, uh, bourbon, bourbon whiskey, or uh, of course chocolate or, or other meals. Um, so uh, I, I, can't, I can't stress enough how, um, how how excited I am when when I'm trying to explore new tastes. Uh, if I come across, uh, I mean, when we're in when we're in harvest, I'm cupping around 300 cups of coffee a day. Um, we're we're you know sipping them, of course. Uh, I come across a lot of coffee, but um, you know, as a as an avid a fine tobacco lover, um, I'm constantly thinking about like, wow, I mean, how can I incorporate these really nuanced tastes, all these really classic tastes, into um, into my pairing, when and how, and, uh, you know, throughout the smoking process. Thank you very much, Paul. So, so uh, would you like to add something else, uh, Manuel? No, I'm, I'm, all the time I'm enjoying my cigar. Just I'm waiting for the question to, I'd be love to, to answer it, so. So, uh, Ma Manuel, Manuel, Manuel is available for you guys. This is the moment you have, uh, it's not uh, every day that we have Manuel to answer our questions in regards to uh, La Aurora cigars and especially the 115th anniversary. Robusto, in this case, is the, the one that we are uh, tasting and pairing. So this is the moment. Soon, there will be no more possibilities. So <laughs> let's check if uh, Miguel says something else. So I don't, I don't have anything else here. Uh, so I just saw uh, Miguel. Since you yes, are there's, handling... There's, there's another question say, saying uh, to Manuel, how long did it take for, for you, for La Aurora, to blend the 115 years? Yeah, like I, uh, I tell you, yeah, you hear me? You hear me? Yes. Yes? Okay. That took around two years to develop this project. Uh, of course, we have to take care with the, we have to see the crop for every year to select the best, uh, the best leaf for that crop. Also, we need to get a very nice uh, fermenting, curing, and age process to uh, get it at the end, a very nice combination of the leaf in it. Uh, took a lot of time to do it because we had to taste every, every pure grape. Pure grape being that we use filler binder and wrapper just for one variety of the tobacco seed or tobacco uh, country or the land because there are eight factors that affect a lot the tobacco, like the weather, like the land. It's not the same, the land from uh, Brazil that the land from Dominican. So you need to combine very well because sometimes one tobacco starts to fight with another and you don't want to die. You want to 
bring something that's smooth, a cream. So around two years to get uh, that nice uh, flavor that at the end you have. Absolutely. So it's a lot of hard work, of course. Yeah, it's a lot. A lot of people involved. A lot of people involved in that because uh, if you don't have a good crop, at the end you don't have a good cigar. So crop means a lot. A crop is affected for the weather, for the climate, also for the years, also for the land. So uh, we need to be careful when we start to do something unique to celebrate 115 anniversary. Great, great. So Miguel, do we have any other questions? Please. Yes, yes. There are a couple of questions. Uh, one question is: um, I'm doing just a quick summary. If uh, La Aurora has any plans to blend a Nicaraguan lit cigar? Yeah, it, like I tell you, we have a, a lot of type of land inventory in our warehouse, like like Cameroon, Africa, like Connecticut, like Brazil like Ecuador, like Nicaragua too. So we have a lot of type of land of tobacco tent to, to play with that. Uh, but you know, we are ready to, for, the, for the consume. People are looking for Brazilian. We are ready to do something for Brazilian uh, unit. People like something from uh, Nicaragua, for sure. We have a, a new a new cigar that the name is 107 Nicaragua. Uh, also, we got uh, the 1495 edition from uh, Brazil or for USA, Connecticut, for sure. Uh, we can do whatever people are looking for to be happy. So we are ready. We got the ready inventory in the on the in, in our warehouse, and we can do whatever. People demand and the time of the good cigars. Thank you. So, so maybe yeah. the last question is um, from Scott, who is also a, a, a cigar sommelier from the IACS. How long was the fermentation process for for all the leaves, for wrapper, binder, and killer? Uh, listen, uh, and, and the more higher part in, on the in one cigar is the wrapper. It, the wrapper needs too much care, internal care because it's the appearance of the cigars. But the secret is inside, it's on the filler. So you have to think, very uh, careful wrapper to play with that, and very complicated filler to develop the blend. So. Let's say in our case, we have a crop in uh, Ecuador for wrapper. We have a crop in Ecuador, we have a crop in the States, we have a crop in Africa, we have a crop in Nicaragua. We can bring it to the warehouse and give it a, a little more treatment. But the filler is more complicated in terms of you need to fermentation, you need to ferment, you need to aging. Because those two things is the, is the body of the cigar, aging and fermentation. A cigar without age, a cigar that will taste flavors. You will taste, of course, you will have flavors, but not flavors unique around. Also, in the, in the fermenting process, you need to do a very hard work over there for at least two years to put the tobacco able for the people to smoke. So every part of the, of the process matters, including the binder. Binder is important too, but the high percent, percentage is on the, on the field. And field has to be treated with a lot of care. Thank you, Manuel. So Miguel, I th that was the last question. I think we have... Uh, we have got a lot of information from Manuel today. That's uh, very interesting. And uh, also uh, from Oscar and from Paul and from Gustavo too. And uh, if there are no more questions, I think that this has, this has been a great session from my perspective. I hope you have enjoyed this too. We want to thank all of you 
we want to thank Laurora Cigar Factory. They have done a lot in uh, taking this uh, session to you together with us, with the International Association of Cigar Sommeliers. And uh, I believe that we have enjoyed uh, very much this uh, pairing and tasting today. I don't know if uh, Gustavo would like to add something else or Manuel or Oscar or Paul or Miguel, who has been just uh, in the back, guaranteeing everything for us. On my side, it's yes, yes, uh, it was an honor to be uh, invited. So thanks for the organization and uh, for being on us. Hello. No, thank you. We thank you. We thank all of you for all the support and uh, your time and all the information. Thank you very much. Then I, I, I just want to add a short um, a short comment for everyone who is interested in getting the uh, let's say the skills or the ability to perform this kind of training to to do more advanced pairings. Uh, feel free to contact us and join yes. our our trainings. Sure. So and uh, if somebody wants to ask something, if somebody has further questions, so feel free, please, to contact us for more information uh, about not only our courses, but some questions or some doubts that you may have about uh, these uh, pairings and, and tastings. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for being with us today. I think it has been great. I hope you have enjoyed this as much as we have. Thank you. Thank you.